this bands are the bands with the lead singer Levin Hell <sighs> and I actually haven't I don't think I know their music. I might have heard it around and haven't really connected it to them. So I'm interested. If you're interested to hear what I sound like when I sing, I've just released a cover of Wicked Game. It is on Spotify and here on YouTube and of course on Apple. And I'd love to know what you think. Find some place where I can lay my head. Yeah, Mr. Can you tell me where the man I found the baby? He just ran and shook my hand. I love that build, it's very Beach Boys. Uh, 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 I think it was uh, uh. an interesting build structure as well. Feels so free. <laughs> I was just thinking. That style of singing, sad. I feel like it's so throwaway. I feel like only certain voices can get away with it. You have to be within a certain genre. You have to be uh, within something that is a free, naturalistic sort of genre. I feel like if I went away and just was like, sad. Oh, the comments. The comments would be like, oh, you can't sing that. Yet it works so perfectly well for some voices and for some. It does not. I said, hey, come on, come on, let's go downtown. She said, well, I gotta go, but my friend can stick around. Take a load of family. Take a load for free. Take a load of family. And you put the load right on. You know what, I just completely zoned out of my vocal coach self and I think that's a good sign. I was just really enjoying it, the storytelling, the vibe, it's so much fun fun, the gruffness of his voice, the harmonies, the builds, all of that just took me on that journey and I forgot to like think, oh, what is he actually doing at this point? Now he's using a little bit of false chord in there to get that gruffness, but also he might just have a bit of a, a natural distortion in his tone. However, he's getting a lot of chord closure. In fact, he's probably pushing his vocal cords together quite tightly in order to get that heavy sound. And he is, for the most part, lightening it off as he gets higher, so thinning out his vocal cords a little bit. But he's still maintaining that heavy a kind of push, to be honest, as he gets up to that high stuff, this throw away eh, to, to make it seem free and easy in its very naturalistic way of singing. You know, no one's, no one's like, take a look. <laughs> you know, they're not, ah. you know, it would be so weird. It's all got to be quite like throwaway, a little bit shouty, to be honest. Take a look for free. Take a look of They blend well, though. And you put the laundry right on. Me and he caught me in the fall. 
<laughs> yeah, same thing here. It's just uh, kind of messy and fun. Um, the person who wrote this was Robbie Robinson, the guy who was on acoustic guitar, I think, the guy with the glasses there. And he was just strumming a little bit on his guitar and he noticed that um, his car had a little sticker that said it was manufactured in Nazareth and he was like, right, I'm going to write a song about it. And at first he didn't really think much about the song, he didn't like it that much and it was just a kind of backup song but they put it on the album and it really, really worked out and people loved it and here we go. <laughs> he said that's okay boy won't you be check whenever you can I want you to take a load of fanny that high heart is excellent take a load of free is that Robbie? take a load of fanny and you put the load right on, on me the blend of voices is beautiful in this It's so hard to drum as well, particularly um, and sing. One, you're sat down, that's harder. Uh, you can, you know, it's harder to breathe properly when you're sat down, but also it's really physical, it's really tiring and can really mess up your breathing. So, and keeping rhythm doubly, you know, if you're strumming a guitar, kind of fine because it's often a little bit more basic, but he's doing multi rhythms at the same time. Very impressive. To get back to Miss Fanny, you know she's the only one who sent me here with the regards for everyone. No one's called Fanny anymore, are they? Did it mean the same thing in those days? Actually, does it mean that in the US? Not bad for a song they almost threw away, right? It was so much fun and I really understand there's something that's so joyful about that song that um, really just makes you feel full of joy and when you make the audience feel good or feel cathartic or feel uh, anything really, that is when you have that connection and that's what's important. Thank you for watching, I hope you enjoyed. If you did, please do like and subscribe and I will see you in the next one.